I can't believe I'll be putting my phone on airplane mode because I'm actually on a plane like level so hello beautiful people of course that is me about to check in me and the girls are about to check in because our flight was about to board and um we're just doing regular things that people do at the airport <laughs> my girls were carrying 28 kg bags guys while i was carrying like an 18 kg bag and of course um mm -hmm, sisters had to pay sisters had to pay can you see the struggle the struggle of overpacking but yeah um we were super excited mainly because um the day had finally come and the day we had been planning from like november and we've been speaking about this i don't know for how many years now and um so we were just about to board our flights and i was about to get my first experience like on a plane and it was super awesome it's not like what i expected at the same time i didn't know what to expect so um so i had a wonderful time chain i had a wonderful time flying it's just like you're in a car like i said in my previous video and you're just on air basically i just didn't like the takeoff especially when i was going to cape town but coming back uh it was smooth i don't know if it was just because i was tired but i don't know i slept all the way so it was kind of like a smooth ride uh-huh so you'll see here we have landed and we were about to meet our new place and um yeah welcome to our house one of the most beautiful airbnbs i've ever been to and very very affordable uh, the girls here were like fighting and laughing because I had ran to the uh, correct room, the best room in the house. So yeah, um, our first activity was to just have dinner at La Parada and um, this is where I was actually going to that restaurant. It is a beautiful restaurant. Um, yeah, let me just choose so that you guys can enjoy this music. So as I was saying, it's a beautiful restaurant. Uh, we had nice drinks and everything. It is aesthetically pleasing. Um, the views are like the best because it is um, on the VNA waterfront. But we gave them a three out of ten for the food. <laughs> and it was the next day. Um, we had planned to go on a boat cruise. Let me tell y'all, we were just we had actually beach day on the Friday, so everything uh swimming anything that had to do with water or shorts we were like okay we're gonna do it in one day it was the friday but in the morning it started raining and we we're just hoping that you know our boat cruise is not cancelled or anything like that or like our clothes are warm enough for the weather that was happening on that day um it was a beautiful day when it stopped raining and the sun was out and we was having fun um one thing about cape town the scenery like it's just i don't know the mountains the views the cleanliness it's just the best one thing about me i will dance i will dance but yeah and we were headed off now to our next destination which was um to go club hopping because we really wanted to have a taste of all the clubs but yeah let me just give you a short clip before i go hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i go by the name of lilo Senkosi, if you don't know that by now and i am here to give you guys an update on the what's so our third day, yeah, third day on of this vacation, second day in Cape Town. And let me tell y'all, I feel like nothing is going as planned. Like I feel like we deliberately make ourselves late, ne? like all the time. Yesterday we were going to this other restaurant and because we booked before the time, like they give you like a time like you must be there or else. They cancel and they still make you pay or whatever the case may be. So we don't want that to happen to us. So basically it's like always rush hour, rush hour every time. Every time it's time to go. And today it was just the funniest thing happened. But 
I'll probably I'll post a video like after this. <laughs> We must go off and go to this other direction to go out on, uh, to our ride. Ah, there we are in our heels. Cough, cough, cough. We look grand, we, we look like we're on time by that time. Eh? And here we go. And so, when we get to like some point and we ask people, we say, Where, like, where can we? <laughs> where, where can, like, where can we get our boarding um, tickets? And then they actually tell us Guti, it's on the other side. So it was like a totally different direction from the direction that we were headed. And there was no time. There was like, maybe we had like five minutes to come back and to like, to go there and come back. Yo, guys, I am wearing a... I'm wearing a um, what's this? a very a, a mini skirt, and it, it keeps on going up. Cause I'm, basically, I'm running yeah. while I'm walking. Yeah, such trauma. But anyway, we made it, and we still slayed it. So yeah, but the Isolo, what happened is Isolo? We didn't predict, or we didn't calculate our time right, and so. Like we were busy still dressing up at the time when we were actually supposed to be out the door already, and so we didn't even have time for like proper pictures because we're like we had to go like literally like because I mean we have to have like snaps because we look popping so there's no way we need to leave evidence everywhere we go. So obviously, like we have to give like ourselves like thirty minutes to taking pictures, maybe thirty minutes to an hour because it's like four of us, and our girl needs to still practice poses, and so I still have to, you know, like I miss her, eh, eh, bamba, quicker, you know. So it takes time, but in any way, this is day three of seven, and I hope you guys are like also invested in. Oh, that's that in, in in my stories because um it's also like it gives you like a timeline of actually what we're doing on instagram uh yo see you guys later bye so yeah that was just a quick update that i did on the day you'll see now we're like walking in long street actually like i said we were going club hopping because we wanted a taste of each and every club and we had an awesome time um i do have pictures of where we started and whatnot but i don't know i don't know i don't know why i'm not putting them in this video but we had a ball like we got free drinks and all this is the club that we ended up in because it was our favorite it was called beer something beer something yeah i know they had nice music there and um as for the other clubs i don't know i don't know we also went to a yep yep which was awesome <laughs> But it was too packed and yeah and expensive let me tell y'all that so um we quickly went out of there out of, after like potting for i don't know a few songs but um this is the girls when the night was over and this is how they were walking down the stairs and it was the funniest thing i ordered a, a quarter oh, pounder complaining mm -hmm. of course a beef quarter pounder <laughs> and a double quarter pounder because it comes with two pa uh, Why patches is it of beef thick? Now, this is a chicken quarter pounder <laughs> with one patty but two slices of cheese, which is very questionable. This is, it says quarter pounder. I didn't order this. With cheese doesn't usually say that. And get to eat with two beef yeah, patties two and patties. cheese. Why does it have two cheese and but two one patties. patty? But one patty. Yeah, because even if it is chicken, yes, it's it supposed to have two patties. chicken patties. What do you have to say about it, ma'am? I don't even know what. And I, Shemu Killings, didn't know what was going on. Uh, we were just sloshed and complaining. But I was very pissed on this ride. We were going wine tasting. Uh, I think it's Stienberg Winery or whatnot. Um, and our previous Uber driver was very rude to us. And he cancelled the trip on us. Saying that we should have requested an Uber XL. 
I don't know if that means we're fat, but he said that we're overloading his car. And we got the exact same car to take us there, and the guy didn't even complain. So um, he was really one of the rudest Uber, Uber drivers that we had gotten there. And the worst experience that we got was from Uber drivers. And most of those Uber drivers were not even from there, guys. And the treatment that um, they treated us it was as though we came in the car with attitude or like some sort of behavior that you don't even know about but it wasn't nice at all um I'll, I'll i'll never stop telling people about the experience we had with our uber drivers but in any way sorry that scenery was great it was a beautiful view and so is this place um yes yeah, stand bag farm i believe um it was beautiful we took awesome pictures there and we had a great time and the food was amazing the food was amazing and one thing about wine tasting guys you might really not find your wine like you might not find any of the wines that you've tasted nice which is me for example the one that i found that was really nice was apparently just served for dessert and not as like you know wine wine because i wanted a bottle of it and i couldn't have a bottle of it but in any way on our way to the next destination rands you will not believe it when we got there we were like so shocked would he um why is there so many people why is there so many people only to find out are in the building and did we not like please go back to the other video that short video but this was one of our best uber drivers um he uh, took us to mcdonald's we sang all the way and of course we tipped him really great because we were ballers ballers and he was like this is the best tip i've ever gotten ever since i've worked here but yeah um on to our next destination which was i think it was on the sunday uh we did um quad biking and of course going there the scenery is amazing but it is a long drive so it was like maybe 45 minutes or more like i felt like it was more um we had actually paid this guy a long time ago and funny enough he was trustworthy and he remembered us basically like on the day he did remind us about our booking and everything um it was quite nice it was quite nice also i am driving with one hand which is very dangerous do not do this at home guys i kept on going out of uh, the line because i was driving with one hand and i can't control the um the bike because what do you call it four wheeler what not and uh, because uh, i was driving with one hand and it was sandy and yeah and all that just don't do it but i really wanted to have uh, a video with my girls and how much fun we were having ah and the shame ilanga lisibasile like we really we literally came back with like tens okay i came back with a ten i could see like the, the difference from my, where my shorts were at and so basically the guy was telling me to put away my phone because we're getting on like shaky sands and he didn't want me to lose my phone and now we're back at the house new outfit change this is my personal personal favorite outfit for the whole trip um we were actually on our way to Kansas bay and we decided to uh start over at or have lunch at uh burger and lobster which had the best starter according to me well my starter was really the best i had um jack daniel ribs and it was actually beef ribs that were literally just falling off the bone like literally and it, they were amazing and we also had like uh, complimentary shots because they saw that we're not from there and they were like ah we're gonna give you guys shots from the house we're like thank you and we also um there's something called happy hour in cape town and we almost missed that but we did get our drinks um this was like the next day and we we're going up table mountain using the aerial cable way and um it was amazing uh there's there's no other words for it it was just pure like the best scenery of course and it was just peaceful beautiful and i'd totally do it again and again and again as you can
can see everyone was enjoying the views um it was a bit windy but manageable um yeah it was it was amazing that's just all i have to say and the food there was also nice and then after that well we headed back home and i actually <laughs> headed somewhere else and this is where i was headed with um somebody i met in cape town and um we had a ball basically these are like the colorful houses and after that we decided to go up uh to signal hill and just to have this beautiful view so um signal hill is where people will paraglide and just come to watch the sunsets because it has the most beautiful view and yeah it was just amazing it was amazing oh look at my smile i was having a lot of fun um I contemplated uh paragliding because of the dress that i was wearing was a wrap around and i just i don't know i was just yeah i was not mentally prepared i thought i was gonna fall into the water and all that stuff because you know what being black sometimes but yeah it was beautiful i'm a couple months got this little pan enjoying the sunset um but yeah this was beautiful i would totally do it again and i totally recommend it Um, I've also been receiving a lot of questions about our budget and how much we spent and how much the activities were. Um, you are more than welcome to ask. I'll definitely tell you if you're planning on going to Cape Town. And also, um, if you see the activities that we're doing and you also want to do it, I'll let you know how much it costs and what we did and who to book through or whatever. Whatever it is, I am just free for all of that. But sure, this was when we were flying back home and it is a wrap. Oh man, and I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the girlies that I was on vacation with. My friends are like drama free guys. We had such an awesome time. It was fun. It was educational. It was everything we needed um, in a vacation. And I would totally do it again with you guys over and over again um yeah i love y'all um this is also just to showcase my outfits um for those who didn't see on instagram um i feel like my outfits deserve to be seen each and everywhere and also <laughs> do tell me which one was your favorite because you know mine you know mine i know you know um also Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and also please remember to like the videos that you've watched and the video that you're currently watching um, you're also more than welcome to comment and to share the video on any social media platform that you would like to share it on and i hope you guys will have an awesome week ahead love you bye